All right. In this video, we are going to find the width and height of an older 20-inch television whose screen has an aspect ratio of 4 is to 3. That is, the size of the TV is 20 inches and its aspect ratio is 4 is to 3. That is, W over H is equal to 4 over 3. Alright. So the size here is 20 inches. So I will go ahead and write this length is equal to 20, 20 inches. Okay. And uh, we do not know what is the width and what is the height. But we know the ratio. That's the reason I'll go ahead and write this width as 4 multiplied with some variable. I can take it as 4x. 4 times something. So let us just take it as x. 4x. And uh, the height is uh, 3x. Alright. And the ratio between 4x and 3x. 4x over 3x or 4x is to 3x. x and x cancel out. So you will still have your same ratio 4 is to 3. Alright. Now what we did here is in this uh, particular television screen the size is 20 inches. So you have your width is 4x and the height is 3x. And now we know very well that if this is a right triangle so let us make use of pythagorean theorem which states that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared now if i take 4x as a 3x is a b and the c is going to be 20 okay so let me write here for a squared i'll write 4x squared plus your b is 3x square and the c is 20 square. Alright, so what is 4x square? 4x square means 4x times 4x which gives me 4 times 4 is 16 and x times x is x square that is 16 x square in the same way plus 3 x square is 3 x times 3 x which is 9 x square I can show it here 3 x multiply with 3 x to give 3 times 3 is 9 and x square 9 x square is what which is equal to here 20 square 20 square is 20 times 20 which is 400 20 on squaring you got 400 now on the left hand side we have 16 x square plus 9 x square those two are the like terms so i can add them 16x square plus 9x square will give you 25x square which is equal to this i added this 16 to 9 gives me 25x square you have and on the right hand side it is 400 okay what is the next step I have here 25 times x square is equal to 400. So I have to cancel out this 25 which is done by dividing 25 on both sides. Let us divide by 25 on both sides to give this is cancelled. So you got x square is equal to 400 divided 25 
is 16 you can verify that it is 16 because in 100 we have 425 so 4 times 4 that is 16 and so we have x square is equal to 16 take the square root of on both sides that is square root of x square is x and square root of 16 is 4 we are taking only the positive square root so you ended up getting x is equal to 4 this 4 is the value of x therefore the width of the screen w is equal to 4 times that x which is equal to 4 gives me 16 so 16 inches is the width of the screen and uh, what is the height the height of the screen is 3 times x so i'll write 3 times your x is equal to 4 so 3 times 4 equal to 12 inches so given the size of the television screen and given the aspect ratio so by making use of your pythagorean theorem we can figure out what is its width what is the width of the screen and also what is the height of the screen now we will repeat this process to find the width and height of a newer 60 inch television whose screen has an x aspect ratio of 16 is to 9 so already i have a diagonal here so this is 60 60 inches i write and given aspect ratio is 16 is to 9 so i can write 16 times x here x is some number and uh, 9 times x again so this is the right triangle a square plus b square is equal to c square so i will go ahead and write out that it is 16 x square plus 9 x square is equal to c square that is 60 square now what is 16 x square it is 16 times 16 256 x square plus 9 times 9 that is 81 x and x x square right like I showed in the previous screen, 16x times 16x. 16 and 16 gives you on multiplication 256 and x times x, that is x squared. Same thing for 81x squared. Now what is 60 times 60? You know 6 times 6 is 36 and just put two more zeros. That is 3600 you got. Now let us add 256x square to 81x square. It gives me 256 add to 81 that is 7, 3 and 3 here that is 337x square is equal to 3600 or 3600 now let us divide both sides by 337 so that x will be by itself so i'll divide by 337 on both sides to give x square is equal to that fraction 3600 over 337 now 
Clearly, this 337 cannot divide 3600. It goes on. Therefore, I leave it this way and uh, find the square root on both sides. So, x square root of this x square is x is equal to I just take the positive square root of 3600 divide 337 that is the value of x so the width of your new television screen is w is equal to 16 times square root of 3600 divide 337 so the width w equal to let me pull up my calculator it is 16 times I will turn it on you know 16 times square root that is second and this is 16 times I have second square root I use parenthesis here because of the division over there 3600 divide 337 close the parenthesis that gives me 52.2945 etc so I just round it to one decimal so that it is equal to 52.3 inches 52 52.3 inches all right now the height the height is 9 times x and what is your x over here that is square root of 3600 over 337 so the height of the screen is equal to Let's go to the calculator. It is nine times clear of nine times square root of second and uh, the x square start the parentheses three six zero zero divide three hundred thirty seven close gives me 29.4156 etc so the height is 29.4 we rounded it to one decimal that is 20 29.4 inches so for a given television screen whose size is 60 inches with an aspect ratio of 16 is to 9 its a width this width of the screen is going to be 52.3 inches and the height is 29.4 inches we can verify this result by going back and substituting this for a and 29.4 for b and using the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square you will get a result which is closer to 60 let me show it to you right quick so here we have your a is 52.3 a square so 52.3 square plus b square that is this one 29.4 whole square 
must be equal to C. Here the C is 60. Okay. So that must be equal to 60 square. Let us use calculator. 52.3, 52.3. Square plus twenty nine point four square is equal to three thousand five hundred ninety nine point six seven, right? Three five nine nine three five nine nine point six five. Point six five is equal to sixty square. We know that sixty times sixty is three thousand six hundred. So these two are almost equal because we rounded off this fifty two point three to one decimal and twenty nine point four to one decimal. So we have the answer which is almost equal to equal that is 3599.6y is almost equal to 3600 so our answer is correct so given a television with a size of 60 inches the width is 52.3 and the height is 29.4 okay thanks